hello guys welcome back to my channel and today i'll be showing you how to do general servicing for your brio and also what are the parameters which you have to take care so let's get it started in this video i'll be showing you the critical part of maintenance that is oil change oil filter and air filter change before draining the engine oil, make sure you drive your car for like around 10 to 15 kilometers because oil when it's hot, its viscosity decreases and it flows easily. For changing oil and oil filter, all you need is to jack up your car left or right, whichever is comfortable for you and you make sure you have enough space in the middle to access the engine drain bolt and oil filter. Here I am using the scissor jack which is provided by the company and also I have a mechanical jack stand for extra safety. Always make sure you jack the car properly and double check the position of the jack. The jack should be placed only at the reinforced flanges provided at four parts of the car. When you are sure about your jacking skills, you can then proceed to changing the engine oil by removing the drain bolt from below. First remove the fiber engine cover from below, which in my case the engine cover is missing. To remove the oil drain bolt, you might want to squeeze yourself in under the chassis for better accessibility of engine bolt. And when you are comfortable with your position, take the spanner with maybe ring or open spanner, whichever is easier for you to get and remove the engine oil drain bolt. Just when you feel like there are only 2-3 threads engaging the uh, bolt, uh, place your oil drain pan below the car engine oil drain. If you don't have an oil drain pan, you can make one yourself by using an old engine oil can. Just slice it open on the top and you have your own oil pan. The oil should come gushing like this as you can see in the video. Let it drain for like around 10 to 15 minutes and come back later. Now while the engine oil is draining out you can get your hands on the oil filter. It's better if you change the oil filter at every oil change. It keeps your engine smooth and clean. After all its price is very low compared to the oil itself. Replacing the oil filter is very simple. It can be accessed easily from below from anyone. Removing the oil filter is very simple. All you need to do is rotate the oil filter in the anti-clockwise direction. Most of the time the oil filter can be unscrewed by hands. If not, just uh, use a pipe wrench to do this job. Oil filter in Brio is very small, so my pipe wrench fits it easily. For bigger cars with bigger oil filters, all I suggest is to go with the oil filter remover tool. It will cost you like around a couple of hundreds, that's it. Now coming back to the work, as soon as you remove the oil filter, the remaining oil inside the oil filter will try to escape out by dripping out. So make sure you are away from it and place the oil pan below it. Clean the oil filter mounting region with a clean cloth and then install the new oil filter. I bought both the oil filter and air filter on Amazon for around like 850 rupees. The link will be shared in the description below. Installing the new oil filter is very easy. All you need to do is rotate the oil filter in the clockwise direction by matching the threads in it. Hand tightening it is more than enough, don't use a pipe wrench cause it may damage the oil filter. Torque up the oil filter as much as possible from your hands. And that's it, you are done with the oil filters. And by now all the old engine oil might have been drained. So now you can tighten up the engine oil drain bolt. You can torque up the engine oil drain bolt from 30 to 40 newton meters. If you don't have the torque wrench, then don't forget to place your washer in between the oil drain bolt and 
just go beyond 15 to 20 degrees after you feel that the oil bolt is tightened now that the tough part under the chassis is done now you need to get the car on the ground by removing the jacks here i am lifting the car so that i can remove the jack stand placed below make sure you haven't forgotten anything below and then jack down your car and now open the bonnet and start filling the engine oil you can see a cap on top of the engine head cover on the left side of the engine bay clean the surrounding of it and place a funnel in it which in my case i'm using a cut portion of a normal soda bottle as a funnel just to get the job done easier and cheaper once you're ready start pouring the engine oil inside the engine as you can see i'm using shell helix 5w30 fully synthetic engine oil for my car always use fully synthetic engine oils on the modern cars unless the owner's manual suggests part synthetic or mineral oil watching the new engine oil go inside the engine is a pure satisfaction also read the owner's manual for the amount of oil to be added to the engine oil after the drain i have read the owner's manual and saw that the brio can take 3.2 liters of engine oil after the drain with the oil filter change so i'm using a 3.5 liter can and pouring 3.2 liter oil in it pour the engine oil up to around 3 liters and start the engine and let it idle for like around 2 to 3 minutes so that the oil circulates around the engine and the remaining oil gets down to the drain and then we will lift the dipstick and check the engine oil level and fill the rest remove the dipstick or the engine oil level and wipe it with a clean cloth insert it back once again and then slowly pull it out and read the level the oil should be between the lower and the upper dot fill the oil until you get the optimum level in the oil level indicator and finally when you're done close the oil cap and get to the air filter section air filter change is also a very easy and a critical part in the maintenance of the car to replace the air filter you need to remove this air filter box the box is held in position by these four clamps you can remove the clamps by hand and pull off the box once the top of the box is out you can remove the air filter by just lifting it in your fingers check the air filter and if it's dirty like mine take a new one and replace it before placing the new air filter inside the box clean it with a clean cloth Align this notch in the air filter with the air box and then press it firmly. Just check the surrounding of the air filter and make sure there is no gaps between them. Once you are sure, then take the top part of the air box and align it with the hole. Once the top part of the air box is uh, in place, then clamp it on with the clamps provided below. After that, check if you have forgotten anything and if not, then close the bonnet and take your car for a spin. Or not, it's your car and your choice. <laughs> Once done, don't forget to pat your back and say job well done. So that's it for today guys, hope you learned something. Keep supporting, like, share and subscribe and I'll be back with another video soon. Until then, cheers.